let's start with the title, Foolish, um, because uh, that's not what I think of when I think of you. Foolish, it has a subtitle, Tales of Assimilation, uh, Determination, and Humiliation. But explain to me why you titled this Foolish. Well, it's very deep and meaningful, as is everything that I do. Um, so there's one meaning, which is that foolish is referencing the fool that I played in the White House and how sort of foolish it was of me to do that. It's kind of a weird thing to think that I could play a 70 odd year old uh, billionaire in the White House. Um, but I did it. And uh, the other thing about it was that I realized my whole life I've kind of been trying to look very smart and I don't want to do that anymore. I realized I want to be foolish. And that was something that came out of a conversation I had with Jerry Seinfeld, who's one of my heroes, my comedic heroes. And, um, you know, he said something about how a lot of this business is is just the business of being embarrassed. Uh, there's so many, I mean, even just having this conversation with you right now, it's like we're talking to each other, but there's people watching. It's all very, you know, it's, it's, it's very, it can be very awkward and weird. And so um, to just sort of embrace the foolishness of it all, um, because to me, foolishness and unpredictability and imperfection is the most interesting thing that you can do in life. Um, and I realized that the most foolish things that I did or seemingly foolish things are the things that I learned the most from. So um, when you think about it, foolish is the smartest title of a book in the world ever. 